Hello, Elizabeth Rita Auma Chikuli is my name, and I am so excited taking you through the Genesis 1 27 28 woman. Uh, a couple of months ago, I was reading through the scripture and I just got hold of this part. I'm like, my God, I've already read the scripture, but I, I did not really know or go deep in the revelation of the Genesis 1 27 28 woman. And all the time as I continue to read, I'm like, my, this is amazing. It just got, I got a hold of it and I thought it would be very good to share it out with you because you too are a Genesis 1, 27, 28 woman. Sometimes we just sleep and forget that we are already blessed to be that woman. But life passes us by and in our 80s and 90s, we're like, oh, I wish I had done this. But you could have done it because you are already blessed to be that woman. Welcome back to the Genesis 1 27 28 woman channel and I know you are blessed you are being blessed because there's one thing that I believe that when a message comes out to you in one way or another it has a way it blesses you if you will take it up I am um, I, I recently I not recently I used to ask myself but okay these people who come men of God women of God and they begin to say there's someone in this room God is healing you of TB, God is healing you of this disease. And I'm asking myself, but if God knows the person, why does he just say, God is healing Rita of this, or God is healing you of the other? And recently in the crusade, I cut my answer to that. I kept asking God the same, but it's just in the crusade. Yeah, it's a couple of years that I got an answer. And it just struck me that when the word of God goes out, the person who receives it gets the blessing and they get the miracle. So when God says to someone here being healed of TB, girl, there may be a hundred people in there, but only one receives the healing. And 99 go back saying, I think that pastor was just gimmicking. No way he wasn't. When the word of God goes out, it's a blessing. Likewise, when the Genesis 1, 27, 28 woman word goes out, because it's not my creation, it's the scripture. I know there's a woman out there who will be blessed and have a testimony to give her. So, today we're going to discuss uh, something very amazing. Uh, majoring in minors. Interesting. Majoring in minors. There's a statement a friend of mine just said some time back and I'm like, wow, I am going to write a book on that. I'm going to use it. But just before I even write the book, I just wanted to bring it here and share it with you. Majoring. Now, let's use majoring. This is a huge onion. This is a small one. So there are people who major in minors. <laughs> Interesting. Now, there's so much you can bring out of that. But I just want to emphasize this kind of Genesis 1, 27, 28 woman who majors in minors in a wrong way. You know, we always also, we look at the positives of how to become this woman. But you know, there are also things that will kill your ability to become the Genesis 1, 27, 28 woman. The people who major in tiny little things. For example, you make something huge out of something that could have been dealt with in a little way. If you are the kind of wife, let's get your wife now. You have an argument with your husband in the bedroom. And then after you come and stand on the door at the whole neighborhood and say, You man, I am tired of you. And you start bringing the argument out in public. Even if it was a small thing. You make a small thing situation burn out into something you that could have been controlled. But just because of your failure to control yourself, you major in minor issues. And the final thing with such people is that when they're big, beautiful things, they don't seem to blow them out. They tend to keep quiet. But when it is something wrong about someone, oh my God, they can talk about it for a million years. You know you have done something wrong to someone or you've had an incident with them? Okay, let's use this example. Uh, someone walks up to you and says, could you, in secret, could you please help me to, to solve this mathematical number? And then you're like, oh yes, okay, you swap it out there. But every meeting you go to, in case the person makes a mistake, you say, even last time I helped her, she did not understand. Even the other time, so you just keep bringing it every time. And something that was small in the background between the two of you, you have made it, oh my God, you have made it a major issue. You have majored in minors. So it is a small issue, but you have brought something huge out of them. And you are not bringing it out in the good sense. You are bringing it out to destroy someone. Do you know how hurting it is when you focus on the tiny 
wrong things about someone and you make them grow into major giants do you know what that causes for you and for them one for the opposite party it's some it can break their confidence or sometimes it can make them become monsters they'll be like hey so that's what you decided to do okay let me show you that i can be worse than you are or sometimes it breaks their confidence because they know you are never there to help them you're only there to see out the little wrongs they do and then you mess it up and for you on the other side it is some a position you do not want to be to in is destroying someone's confidence and that is not what a genesis 1 27 28 woman does if you are going to be fruitful if you are going to replenish and have dominion you have to learn how to measure in the right things don't measure in minor issues which destroy other people's lives it would be good for you to measure in issues which help people to grow if you see an ability in in someone and you see it is a pretty small mustard seed go measuring it and help her to blossom help her to become as big as this onion help her to thrive but if you see that someone probably is weak at something but every time you keep reminding her or reminding everybody how weak she is it's not going to help in either of you for example you're in charge of an organization and you are this lady and and you have a number of young people who are learning remember you were once in the position of learning but because they're learning and you feel you have reached so you're at the top every time they come to you for something you're like but i did, didn't i tell you that last time and then you come for these meetings and you begin to pour it all out on them can you imagine she cannot even learn this she cannot even do the other that is measuring in minors and a genesis 1 27 28 woman should not be in such a position of measuring in minor issues someone steps on your toes by a mistake but then you go telling the whole neighborhood how can you imagine because i don't know i think she doesn't like me who told she didn't like you it was just by mistake you begin to build petty things and make them into huge monsters and the challenge with building petty things when they become monsters they become ugly terrible monsters and terrible monsters also hit back at the people who helped build them um, a couple of years ago there's this movie that was called um, robocop for those of you who probably watched it uh, and this guy who developed the robot he from his tiny little things he developed this terrible robot which had I think the mindset was already messed up but it's the same robot which became a terrible monster and killed him up yes out of his excitement he wanted to make a robot that would help him to rule his territory but in a wrong way moreover but his territory was now messed up and then you know he was killed he could not even see what came out of his monster but then there was another robot that was seemingly had a nice sense in humanity in one way or another but when it was built into a robot it's actually what helped destroy the terrible robot so i add you girls i add you ladies in whatever position you are and most of those women who are in the position of leadership in one way or another do not major in minors only major in minors if you are going to help build up that beautiful plant or mustard seed and let it sprout into a big beautiful plant but if you are looking at an ugly side and trying to major and make it a big side hey you had better change so if we're talking about majoring in minors then you had better minor in major okay i don't know we shall think about that next time but for now take care god bless you thank you so much for subscribing and for liking and for sharing and i know you are surely blessed and will be blessed god bless you till next time i remain elizabeth rita almachiguli and have a beautiful 2023 we're still moving on there's still quite some time ahead of us so the rest of the year do not major in ugly minors go major in minors of build the nation god bless you